Um, now let's let's turn to look at at, at Europe um, and Willem. I mean, the, the first half was was pretty bad in Europe, but but not as bad as uh, as it might have seemed when this um, when the pandemic first hit and you know lock, lockdowns started to happen. But how do you see things playing out in the second half of the year for both the head-on markets in uh, in southern Europe and the headless markets in the north? Yeah, so I, I think it's really important to look a little bit back again. No? So actually January, February and even March in most European countries were extremely good. So there was a there was a very strong growth of imports and that's a trend that was going on for a longer time already. No, there was growth of anime imports in, in Europe only in uh, uh, April and May we really saw that drop of imports, depending on the country, with 20, 30, 40, in the case of Italy, even 70%. No? Um, but overall, at, at this moment, Europe is uh, more or less a break-even with, uh, with 2019. For the first half of the year, uh, import data for only for Vaname and Monodon. Um, the food service, of course, was the the, the worst hit by the by the pandemic. Um, but especially in northwestern Europe, the the wholesalers that I talk to, they really say that July and August were record months. So probably because people stayed at home, they didn't go for holiday, but they went out for dinner more than the than they would do normally. And people could sit outside, the weather was good, so consu consumption was, was really strong. So most of the food service suppliers that canceled their orders in um, April and May, they reordered those containers in um, uh, during, during the summer months, actually. So what, what we see now at the moment is that um, uh, for the food service market, actually, there are no very big stocks in Europe at the moment, at least not in Northwestern Europe. And most of the food service companies, they are, uh, they have already ordered or they are ordering uh, new containers to cover the last couple of months of the year. That said, um, also in Europe, of course, the fact that uh, the outdoor dining season is is over now uh, will have a real uh, impact on on the sales in the in the in the coming months. And uh, most of the companies that I talk to, they also say that actually, from the last week August, you already see that sales are really dropping. Yeah. So the 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 question is, what's going to happen then in in the coming months? Yes, there will be new orders. Yes, there will be containers coming in. Um, uh, but but the sales are expected to go down. So some of the food service companies, they say that they expect an index compared to last year of about 70, meaning that uh, they will they will they 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 expect to sell about 30 percent less shrimp than uh, uh, compared to the same month uh, last year. So that's uh, yeah, that's uh, not such a good outlook for the for the coming months in in retail. Uh, also in Europe, Van der Mee is, of course, mainly a retail product. Um, and, and retail sales have been very strong, but also there it really depends on the country. No, like uh, I think it's different than in the US. Uh, for example, in the Netherlands, we really don't know how to cook shrimp, so uh, our appetite to cook shrimp at home is much less than, for example, in Belgium or in France or in Spain. Yeah, so I guess to understand the retail dynamic really requires uh, uh, a country by country um, uh, analysis, but but overall, retail sales have been strong, have been able to compensate part of the food service sales, but not entirely. So my guess is that the, at the end of the year, uh, all Europe, you will look at a, a probably 10% decline of, of import volume. Tom, I can't hear you. I'd put my mic on mute. Yeah. So it, yeah. there's going to be a, um, a reduced demand in the run-up to Christmas because, uh, you know, like... There's uncertainty around, I guess, what Christmas is going to look like. And in, in Europe, you know, it's a big consumption time for shrimp. It'd be, you know, where big volumes would be imported. Do you think those big volumes are going to be imported or do you think that that kind of won't happen um, this year? Yeah, so um, I expect that most of the orders have already been placed um, and that you will see those coming in in the statistics in uh, the August and September numbers. But that October and November will show a significant decline compared to last year. Okay, um, and you don't really think there's the, the, you don't think at the minute there's much of a build up of stock either. It's quite you know the stock situation is quite low. 
Yeah, that's that's mainly for peeled products. Um, I think for the add-on shallow market in Southern Europe, the situation is a bit different, yeah. uh, especially in Spain. If you look at the import volumes for Spain over the first five months, actually, even even in May, uh, Spain recorded, I think, a 30% increase compared to, uh, no, sorry, in, in April, 25% increase still over last year. And only in May, you say it, you saw a drop of 30%. Mm. Uh, so, so unfortunately, we don't have more up-to-date data yet. But, but um, yeah, it's it's very likely that uh, that the head-on shallow market is is uh, better uh, supplied uh, than the field market in northwestern Europe at this moment.